Hi everyone, Tatiana from the Greensbird Beat Kingdom is here and today I'm going to show you how to create a very nice looking rings made of seed beads and Mayuki drop beads. I'm going to use these Mallorca beads, which look pretty much like the seed bead size 11, the beading needle and the beading thread and some Mayuki drop beads. So yes, this is everything you will need. Now go to your local bead store, grab some supplies and let's get started. And by the way, I know you noticed my very beautiful earring. This is the mono earring. I've already shown you how to create this yourself. You can do this. Check the video here. We have this tutorial ready for you. Okay, and while I'm doing this, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you want to see the more interesting tutorials in the future. Okay, let's get started. Cut approximately 30 inches of beading thread and put a needle on each side of the thread. Then string on 5 Mayuki drop seed beads, in my case red. Now send your beads to the center of your thread and put away one needle. Use the other one to make a loop, just like this. Pass through the first bead just like this and there you have a loop or a circle. Now we are going to pass through all these drop beads once again. So we will fill bead holes with extra thread and this is going to make our beading look more stable and secure. Tighten the thread and this is what we have now. Now we are going to add the flower center. I'm going to use one of these small metal beads. String on the bead and pass through this bead. See? Skip two and go through the third one just like this. And now pass through it and the following two red seed beads, just like this. Thread and place the center bead to the flower center. Here, my golden bead is in the middle. Perfect. Now I'm going to put away the rest of the drop beads. We no longer need them. I'm going to take these small Mallorca pearls. You can actually use size 11 seed beads. They will also work here. Okay, my seed beads are ready and we are ready to continue. String two seed beads on the right middle and one on the left. And here, where we have two beads, with left needle go through the first bead on the right, making your needles cross, just like this. See, they cross. Pull both threads and now bring all these three seed beads under the petal drop bead, just like this. And now we are going to repeat this step many, 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 many times. String two seed beads on the right needle and one on the left. Then with left needle go through the first bead on the right, making your needles cross. Pull both threads. Here is what we are going to have now. Second cross is here. Continue doing this. Two beads to the right, one bead to the left, then cross, passing through the first bead on the right with the left needle. Pull both ends of threads. And the beading is going to look like this. It might sound very complicated with all this left to right, right to the left. So just see what I'm doing and repeat the same thing many, many, many times. Make this beading chain long enough so it can be turned around your finger. And now I will show you how we are going to finish the ring. Put your beading flat on the table and the same way I'm doing here. This is the wrong side of the ring. See, the golden flower center bead is facing my beading mat. You can see the central petal bead over here. All white seed beads are connected to it. And on the other side of the flower we have these two petal beads in the center. See? So we are going to pass through each of these beads now. And let me show you closer. We are going to pass through these two beads. So right needle goes through right petal bead here. Now pull the thread. Now take second needle and pass through the left bead like this. Pull the thread tightly. So this is how our beadwork looks like at this point. 
That's how we connected the white chain part to the flower. You can secure and cut off your thread now, but I suggest to pass through all white beads once again. First of all, this is a ring. You will be putting it on and off your finger, and extra thread will make the ring uh, more stiffer and stronger. Plus, see, my beading doesn't look neat at some point. The extra thread will help beads to stay in their places. So now pass through the petal bead, first with the right needle, pass through two petal beads like I'm doing here, and then go through this first white bead like this, put away the needle and take the other one, and do the same thing here. Pass through two petal beads and then through the first white seed beads, like this. Ok, this is how we start the second round. Now pass through all white seed beads with each needle, just like we did at the very beginning. Right needle through right bead, left needle through left bead, and cross the needles in the center. See what I'm doing here. Pass through several beads with one needle, then you can put it away and work with the other. Then put the other way and work with the other, <laughs> then put this other way and work with the other, just like this. See, I'm doing the second pass through all these beads and my beading starts to look much neater. The extra thread helps them to stay in perfect cross position. Nice! Well, plus it makes the ring stiffer, which is very important since, well, it's a ring in the end. You will put it on, you will put it off, it must be strong and you are happy, you must be happy with what you've created. So we are doing these extra steps now. While doing this, make 2-3 knots on your way between seed beads. Do this with each of your threads, just to secure the threads in the beadwork. This is how we usually secure the thread in the beadwork. Make a loop between two beads, just like I'm doing here, and then pass through this loop once again with your needle. Pull tightly, and the knot is ready. Repeat this a couple more times later. I'm not addict really, I like to make a lot of them, because that gives me that extra security feeling, you know. <laughs> and when you reach the end, pass through the petal beads once again, and then cut off both threads. And that's it, the ring is ready. I think it's beautiful. Okay, and my ring is ready. I'm so happy with what I've created. Now it's your turn, go and make one for yourself or the ones you really love and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel. You can also put your suggestions in the comments and I will try to film to make a tutorial special for you. Okay, see you next Friday, bye!